Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how I take care of my hair. So first, what I do is I wash my hair. Last night, I took a bath just because whenever I'm using a conditioning like hair mask, I like to take a bath because I try to leave it in for 20 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes. Um, kind of depends on how patient I am. I love using the Gazoo Honey Infused Hair Mask. I recently got this this summer. It is so good. This is actually quite a big size online. It doesn't look that big, but it is, it is a good size. It smells amazing and it will last you for quite a long time. Now it is more expensive, that is the one thing. And what I like to do is I will put it in my hair when it's dry, you know, already previously styled, whatever, it doesn't matter because you'll be taking a bath or a shower, whatever you guys prefer. And I will put it throughout my whole entire hair from root to ends. And then I'll just kind of put it up in a bun and just take my bath clean the rest of my body and then I will wash it out. But if this is something that is a little out of your price range and also it's only available online, I would highly recommend this one that it is, it's very similar. It's the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey. It's an intensive hydration hair mask. This also has honey, so it's going to do similar things. It smells amazing as well. A little bit different, but I believe it's like less than $15 and it's it's available at your local drugstore. So either one would be just fine, but I use them both the same way. So after your hair mask has been kind of, I guess, just soaked in your hair for 20, 30 minutes, you wash it out. Then you go in with your shampoo. I am loving the Orbe right here, shampoo and conditioner. This is the Gold Lust Repair and Restore. Now this brand is expensive, but it is so good. It makes my hair so soft. Plus the Kisu hair mask, it makes it even more soft. I don't know any other product that makes my hair this soft. And I have coarse hair, so I have very dry hair. So my hair doesn't naturally look soft, look shiny, none of that. I really have to add products in order to make it look that way or make it what I want it to be. But these two are really great. A shampoo, again, I leave it in for a little bit. You know, I don't wash it out immediately. And then I go in with the matching conditioner. And again, I leave it in for a little bit. Another great option if the Orbe products are just too expensive for you, I do love the Kristinas um, shampoo and conditioner, any of them in her collection are great. I've tried a majority of them. I also like this one right here. This is the Scalp Pur Purifying Micellar Shampoo. This is great to um, kind of cleanse your scalp. And I love that it removes buildup. So let's say you don't wash your hair that often like me and you use a lot of products throughout the week. This just removes everything and it's so simple. And then with this nozzle, it's just really easy to get into your roots. So this one's a really great affordable option as well. Another affordable option is the Love Beauty and Planet. I really love this. It's so inexpensive. This one is the Clean Oceans Edition. So this bottle is made from 100% ocean sound plastic, which is amazing. And I love the smell. It's a sulfate-free shampoo. That is what I like to look for in my shampoos and conditioners. Really important for me. It just helps with like, doesn't dry out my hair, you know? And that's really, that's really great. Also, this smells amazing as well. So anything from the Love Beauty Planet collection, they're great. It just kind of depends on what scent you're looking for. So after you have washed your hair, you've gotten out of your bath or your shower, and you put your hair up in a turban, that's what I like to use. It's a little less harsh than a regular towel. I will go in with the Kristen S Blow Dry Mist. I love this because it cuts down on the drying time. It really does work. And this is also great for split ends, just to smooth your hair, add some shine to it. And also it's a um, like a heat protecting spray. So I'm actually just about out. I've had this for quite a bit. This is a really great product to have with all of your other hair products. Something I like 
to also mention is I get my hair color treated maybe like every four to five months. The last time I got it done was back in June. This is what it looks like so far and it looks pretty good for it to already be October and it doesn't look that brassy and that's because I use products like this. This is the Kristen S Signature Gloss and this one is Smoky Topaz. It says medium neutral brown. Now I wouldn't say that's the color hair that I have but in the back it says if you want to neutralize or tone down your warmth and that is what I'm looking for. Now my baby lights that have like grown out and my balayage it is a lighter brown and whenever it starts to get too brassy, too warm, that's where I like to tone my hair and that's, you know, when I go to the hair salon and get my hair toned every 45 months for that reason mainly, just to get really rid of that and also add shine since my hair is not naturally shiny. And I love this as just a quick pick me up, you can get it at your local Target and it's so inexpensive and it really does the job. Now I will say this won't last as long as something that your hairstylist would use at the salon. This would last a month max. It kind of depends on how often you wash your hair. I wash my hair maybe twice a, twice a week, sometimes three times. Kind of depends on how active I am throughout the week. But this works, I'd say a good month. So it's definitely, it's worth it. So how it works is, Now this one is already used since I used it right before I went on vacation. But there is two bottles, one and two. And you put number two, the gloss, into the activator. And then you just shake it up a little bit. And then there are some gloves. Here, you put them on so you don't stain your hands or anything and you just put it throughout your whole entire head like you want this soaking everything from root to end now something like this you know I've used this quite a few times and every time I feel like oh I have too much or like it's more than enough do I need to use the whole thing I would use the whole thing especially if you have any if your hair is like my length or even longer like you'll need the whole entire bottle but again root to end let it soak um, I think it says you have to soak yeah 10 wait 10 to 20 minutes depending on the results you want then rinse thoroughly so I keep it in the full 20 minutes because I really want to neutralize my hair and get rid of uh, the ash the not ashiness but the um, just to neutralize it and just tone down the brassiness. So I leave it in full 20 minutes, but really depends on what you want. So after 10 to 20 minutes, you're going to wash it out and do the regular shampoo and conditioner. So again, you can use whatever I recommended or something that you're currently using at home. So this is what it looks like, the gloss after maybe just a little over a week. Still looks really nice. And I've washed my hair quite a bit since I was on vacation and I was hiking a lot so I washed my hair a little more than usual but it's turning out really good and I'm not getting my hair done for like another month or so so it's looking good so far now the next thing after all of that I will either let my hair air dry or I will blow dry my hair I like to use the Kristen S blow dryer I'll link all the products that I mentioned today below so make sure to check that out with the prices and everything that you guys would need but I use that blow dryer just to do a quick blowout sometimes if I have a little more time I will use like a round brush and really try to get all of my natural waves out and any um, just kinks out so it's really smooth but this time I ended up just doing a quick blowout knowing that I was just gonna curl my hair after so I ended up curling my hair the following day, which is today, and I just like sectioning my hair. I section and a half down the middle, just easier for me. I tend to have my hair in the middle. Sometimes I'll, you know, do this, move it side to side, but for the most part, it's the middle. Now, in order to achieve these waves, I use, I'm gonna 
mentioned, the Kristen S Pivoting Curling Iron. It's one and a quarter. It's so great, easy to use, affordable as well. And this is kind of like the results. And I'll show you guys that in the next one. I first used the Tresemme Heat Protecting Spray. And right now it's not that frizzy and I got a majority of my natural waves out because I washed my hair last night and I just did like a quick blowout. So I'm going to spray. Then I'm going in with the Kristen S brush. I got this at Target. And then I'm brushing out any maybe tingles that I got from like last night. This is so nice because it doesn't hurt your hair and it's just really gentle. Okay, now that my hair is brushed out, I like to part my hair in the middle, so whatever you like to do, go and do that right now. And I'm going to split my hair in half. focus on this half. So for my curling iron, I'm using the Kristen S Pivoting Curling Iron. This is the one and three quarters. So it looks like this, which is really cool. It helps with getting like the back of your head. I don't know about you guys, but I have so much trouble getting over here. It doesn't look as defined as like the front pieces. So this really helps to be able to just get like right here, and, like right over here. So helpful. So I'm going to turn this on to, I think I do like 360. So yeah, 365, it has a few settings. So there is a higher one. So I'm gonna wait for that to heat up, which only takes like a few seconds. I'm going to start off with this piece right here. So it's framing my face. All of the waves are going to be going away from my face. That's kind of just what my signature waves look like. And I take a decent amount of sections, so it's not too, too much of like a curl. And don't mind me if I'm looking above the monitors up there so I can see if I'm like getting everything. So I like to move my hair up and down just helps smooth out my hair and just make sure it's to heat up the whole entire section. And then like five seconds and then I release and there's one piece. So now that half of my head is done, I'm going to go on to the other side. All right, so now that my whole head is completely curled I'm going to let this side cool this side is ready now my hair it's coarse it's dry and it holds on to a curl very easily so I could run my fingers with my hands or with the brush and it would stay now if your hair you have fine hair or very pin straight hair I would actually section each piece and pin them until like they're fully cool and then sometimes you might even have to use hairspray but I don't necessarily have to use hairspray. I just use my other products and then I'm kind of like good to go for the next couple of days. So first I'm going to just use my fingers and loosen up the curls so they become a little more lived in and more wavy compared to curly. Mm -hmm. 
Now, if there are any areas I need to touch up, I just go back and touch things up. Usually when I have to touch up, it's like right here. So now that this side has cooled, I'm going to again do the same thing. After I have curled my hair and then just either brushed it out or used my fingers, I go in with the Gizu Honey Infused Hair Oil. I Again, I've had this for quite a little bit of time, ever since the summer, and this works so well. You don't need that much. It smells lovely. This is all you need, just like a drop. And then I like to warm it up in my hands like this and then kind of go just like this and then I especially focus it on the end so I'll do a little bit of that just to make sure the ends look shiny since my hair doesn't naturally look shiny and it's so dry on the end. Sorry guys my camera battery died so now I am back but what I was saying I like to focus the oil um, at the ends just to make sure I put a little bit extra there because it is so dry and it kind of just helps and it makes it look healthier but that's my hair care routine I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was insightful and I hope you guys enjoy these products make sure to check them out if you haven't already again they are down below so check that out and I will see you guys in the next video bye